At the LSE, we have a very small number of international partnerships, one in America, one in France, one in China, one in Singapore, uh, and Cape Town is the, the fifth of them. We don't expect there to be very many more. What we want to do in those partnerships is to develop research links, to send PhD students back and forth. I hope to send undergraduate students down here as well. Uh, we hope to have lecture series. We've already had two LSE lectures at Cape Town and we've had one Cape Town one back in London. And we hope also to find opportunities for research collaborations you know, across uh, all the spectrum of social science work that we do. Well, I think in the first place, I think it's useful for students to be taught why it happened. And we, in fact, have a special module in one of our courses, which all of our undergraduates will take, about the latest financial crisis and also about why economic crises happen and what we should do about them. So I think we have an obligation to explain to our students what is going on in the world economy and why things have <laughs> collapsed in the way they did. Uh, but of course, in the long run, our key responsibility is to train our students for the world of work, to make them employable, which means a combination of skills and a positive attitude. Uh, and I think that's probably more important than the details of why the subprime crisis erupted in the way it did.